This episode of the podcast is brought to you by our partner, Audible. Yes, it is. So we are partnered with Audible. That means that if you are looking just to check it out, uh, you don't want to put your card in and just take, take the dive. You can get 30 days for free on us. If you go to audibletrial.com slash J-A-T-G or click the link down below. Uh, you'll be taken there. You can sign up uh, for 30 days for free and just test it out. Like there's a lot of stuff on there that you can get for free, a lot of Audible exclusives. Uh, but what I really like about Audible is that out of the hundreds and thousands of audiobooks that they have, if you decide to purchase something, that is yours forever. Like if you decide not to carry on your subscription or you want to take a break or whatever it is, you can always go back and listen to that book whenever you want through the app on the internet. doesn't matter because it's yours. So once again, you can get that for 30 days for free on us. If you go to audibletrial.com slash J-A-T-G. <music> Welcome one, welcome all, Johnny and the Greg. We are at it again, and we have uh, Greg. I have to say, this is we've only done this one time, but it's fastly becoming uh, one of my favorite segments here, where we bring these two gentlemen on and we talk movies. Oh yeah. So uh, wh who we have with us is Ken Williams. It is fun. And uh, Matt from the movies. Hi guys. I don't know your last name, Matt. <laughs> Matt Sampin. Yeah. Hey guys. Matt Sampin. Oh, Sampin. Sampin. I just put my Matt, my last name's on the, on the yep. thing. So. Yeah. So welcome back, guys. Uh, we're here to and talk. a public persona that he would like to. We're here to talk summer movies. So I'm 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 happy yeah. that you guys are here. Uh, it's always fun. Um, anything you guys want to say to us, like how much you like us and how much you listen to us all the time and. People should subscribe well, uh, and first of all, <laughs> thanks for thanks for having. Me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me back. Uh thanks for allowing me to to spend time with you two amazing gentlemen and Matt, of course. Um <laughs> uh, all proceeds go to Johnny and the Greg. Uh yeah. yeah. That's true. Hey Ken, can I just say real quick, you, the the way the camera's hitting your room, it looks like you're in the room from Time Bandits. Where they push back the wall. Oh wow! <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Right, yeah, soft white the, and, and and bright white over here. There to give me is depth and dimension. There is a limited audience left. That when you say time bandits, it's yeah, no, going to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. But I think I, I think I, I think I hit it here. I think like we all know what I was talking about when I said that. So yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, we get we yeah. got it. But I'm just like, I mean, there's very few places you can make a time band. Yeah, reference. yeah. I love that movie. Land. I love that movie. Very I can few. still watch that movie. British sci-fi fans. Yeah. Like wow, eight, we are like, really was it 70s? fuzzy. That was uh, 80s. 70s. Oh, it was. 80s. Okay. Was, yeah. It was early, sure. early, early, early 80s. 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Early 80s. Yeah. 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 Wasn't well, that the? Say thanks for having me. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, I think. Do I get a jacket good. if I get on here like for a fifth time or only for the Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame. Yeah. I got one I could donate to you, I guess. I mean, I don't know what it's going to say, but it probably won't fit either. It's, so. it's no big deal, Matt. I've got like three. I can give you one. <laughs> <laughs> it's no big deal. All right. Well, All right. All right, yeah, Greg. Let's, let's get this show on the road. Jump into some trailers. We are covering. Uh, June, July, and August, the, the big summer movie months. And I do want to say, like, even leading up, so like most years, there's like this huge dry spell before we get to summer. I don't feel like it happened this year. I saw mm -hmm. some really great stuff, like from in March and April, um, that really hit well. Uh, and our, if you want to see what's coming on in May, go check out our last preview show because we covered it up till May. So, um, but great stuff like uh if you haven't seen like abigail or uh i actually just saw the oh I, it was it's ball guy the... oh he froze everybody froze but me 
them. Fall, fall, fall Guy was fan. Distinguished. Mystery. Uh, no, gentlemanly yeah. warfare. Yeah. No, nope. that's just you then. Um, uh, yeah, it the, says my the, internet. It says my internet connection is unstable. So we'll see. We'll do something about it. Fix it. Um, if I do anyway, something about okay. it, we shut down the whole. We all go. Show. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully this isn't. Uh, well, make me host then, so that it doesn't totally. Yeah, know. that's a good idea. How do I do that? Real quick. You can go to participants, and we're gonna have a little Zoom uh training session yeah participants. participants see my name look Got at the it. three the ellipses the three dots yep. like that and click make host or make co-host and you're set so all, all right. right all right so first up uh this film is coming out june 7th so we're looking at that first weekend in june we've got bad boys for ride or die so let me cue up the share screen uh share screen three we're gonna make sure we share our sound and here we go bad boys four come on mike slow down we are late my stomach mike i need a ginger ale Get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh? Put them in yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up. Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun <laughs> to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir. But I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> And Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working uh -oh. directly with drug cartels for years. Captain Howard is being framed. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuckers, fuck them all. <laughs> I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No! Put down white for Rowan! It's flammable! I ain't no damn scientist! Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Ah! I can feel like any rest in my memories. Me and Jersey back to back is getting scary. Put some things all on your head like this and Terry. I need nasty mice. Bad boy! Ah! I got this! What you do, though? Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Why? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. <laughs> your favorite. Uh... I'm a woman. I'm a strong, I'm a strong black woman. Strong, yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. Okay. What a great Netflix movie. <laughs> got oh. summer blockbuster all over it. Yeah. Eh, I Early mean, summer, like, yeah. yeah. What would Martin Lawrence do without Will Smith? Oh, great question. Here's here's kind of my take. Like, I I saw Bad Boys three. I, I was traveling for work. I had mm -hmm. nothing to do in the evening, so I'm like, I'll go to I'll go to the movies. And I literally pulled up to the movie theater and said, "What can I see right now?" They said bad boys for his bot star. And I'm like, fine. And I went and saw it and I went, oh, I enjoyed that more than I thought I would. And this looks to have the same feel. 
like I might like it, but I'm not going to pull out all the stops to go to the, the multiplex, you know, full giant ultra screen lounging chairs kind of deal. It, it's, it's a man at best. I mean, it definitely has a, a, a very particular pattern. Right. Yeah. Every single one of the movies are very similar. They don't follow the Michael Bay formula. Right. So and it looks it, it, fun though. I mean yeah, in that case it's and that's a, just it. I mean ride. it don't expect much and you might walk away from it going, eh, it's all right. But John is silent and John was a huge, huge Will Smith fan and a big bad boys fan. So John, what boys, are your yeah. thoughts? What's going on in your head? Bad boys died at number two. Um, <laughs> I didn't like three as much as you did. Um, it got real soap opera. 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 It became a soap opera Operatic. with his son. Um, and then mm-hmm. uh, this one, I don't care if I ever see it. The shine of Will Smith is so dim on me now. I don't. I, I saw this and I went, oh, God. And then when you said it sounds like a great Netflix show, absolutely. Netflix all the way. That's how I look at this. But So I'm not I'm not looking forward to this. I, I will not. I don't think. I, I mean, if it comes across my TV on Hulu in two years, I'll watch it. But, but you're not going to pay money to see this. Not one bit. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. If I had a, if I did not have a Netflix subscription, I would not get one to watch this. Okay. Yeah. Grumpy old bad boys. <laughs> this is going to be the Fast and the Furious crowd. They're going to come see this one. Yeah, yeah probably. I mean, it, it kind of has Meg. that feeling where they, they're becoming super cops. And it just doesn't right. have... I always wanted bad boys to become like the next uh, lethal weapon. And it just fell short after part two. Mm-hmm. I just... Mm-hmm. Well, the they introduced almost like a new team yeah. in three. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'm more interested in seeing these characters rather than Martin Lawrence and Will Smith and Will Smith's son um, or Marcus's son or whoever that whatever Will Smith's character son. Um, I was more interested in those guys, but they seem to be missing from this preview. <laughs> like, yeah. Like I, they're digging it in a different direction. Is that guy who said you're being set up detectives? Is that his that his son? I think so. Okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, I just I I think you're right with that, Greg. I also don't like how this how they're. It's like uh, Matt, you said it. There is this fast and furious to it where, at first they were cops, and now they're almost like super duper cops, and they have this task force that no one knows about, and it it just it 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 feels. I don't know. It feels fake. like what I always liked about the lethal weapon was it was a guy who was crazy enough to get involved in all these, like all this, like he was, Mel was crazy enough to go with the flow. Danny was just trying to stay there until retire, like, retire. Yeah. And they just yeah. kept getting into all these things that were bigger than them. This never feels bigger than them. Does that make sense? What I'm saying or no? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, what, like whatever the case is. Yeah, it's 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 they can handle it kind yeah. of thing. Like yeah, yeah. well, and, and I always felt like Mel and Danny were falling into things too. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, they, they didn't. They weren't out searching for South African, uh, you know, uh, warlords. But they yeah, they wouldn't have gone with, to with Guatemala to take get their girlfriend. Right, like that wouldn't have happened. Right. Like so. Anyway, that's just how I feel. Yeah, yeah. but well, there's a Con Air scene, so that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, good movie. So uh that is June 7th. We got one more coming out June 7th. Now for, for the people at home, we're not covering every movie coming out this summer because that's just impossible. We can't do that. So we're going we're doing for the major theatrical releases. Um and we can't even do every one in a weekend. Uh right. because some of them some of them like uh, they're re- a re-release of Run Lola Run, which is a '90s spy film. Mm-hmm. We're not going to watch that. Um, oh, real quick, but Matt, next up we have. Wait, real quick, Matt. If we yeah. come up across 
um, like you're the one that brought Abigail to us. If we've missed oh, yeah. something that we need to know about, you let us know. Okay. I'm on it. Thank you. Yeah. And Abigail was a great. Fun. Did you see it? It oh was good. Goodness, was I, I did. Yeah. Oh, awesome. It. awesome. It's, uh, yeah. My review on that was if, if I think for the, um, the horror fans that wanted like an evil dead style vampire movie, that's not what mm-hmm. they got. Um, they they got something a little bit more light, a little bit more cheesy. Still a horror film, but um, just more of a fun theatrical watch. Cool. I mean, it, cool. a little self indulgent, but definitely fun. Yeah, yeah, fun. Um, so next up we have The Watchers, uh, Watchers. starring Dakota Fanning, and here we go. <laughs> I'm going out tonight. Try not to die. Try not to die. Try not to die. And I thought you couldn't talk. Young woman with a drink in her hand. She liked to listen to a rock and roll. She knows the music. Don't look at me like that. It's just something I do sometimes. Never is old. You have five seconds before the door is sealed. Five, four, three, two. What is happening? What is this place? I don't mean to scare you, but we haven't much time. It's not wise to keep them waiting. They'll be very interested in someone new. It's a window on the other side. They come every night. And they watch us. What is that? What are they doing? Applause. Well, you mean it. How long have you been here? I don't know. You've never seen one. No one sees one and survives. They have come to our world for a reason. I'm not supposed to be here, and I'm not staying here. They allow us to live because we follow their rules. You have broken too many. I will die. What did he see? I'm trying to get in. I saw myself. Someone's out there. Please open the door. John? My husband's outside. This is a trick. That was actually my first time seeing it. Really? Yeah. And Same. Uh, all I can say is I, I feel like I've been tricked by him so many times into thinking <laughs> the movie's going to be so good. And it has always, almost always been a letdown. <laughs> Love me some M. Night. I, even, ahead, like, I, I even like Lady in the Water. Devil was horrible. Uh but I, this, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this uh, the trailer before, and it, it it moved me the same here. It, okay. it you know, I understand what you're saying, Matt, and I get it. I keep putting faith in him though, because he 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 does know how to tell a story. He just doesn't always know how to finish that story. Finish the story. That's the whole thing for me. Yeah. Did you like old? Uh, I, I, I did, but it was better than devil, but okay. I, you know, obviously his first, 
his first four movies were his best. Also, who is this Shyamalan? Is this? I think this is his. Um, I don't think it's his wife. I think it's his daughter. Oh, okay. I'm not Mark, sure. Greg Marshall said he's right waiting now. for a scorpion to pop out in the forest. Why a scorpion? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um. Uh, I, I had, I, that's the first time I saw it. I had no idea what mm-hmm. was going on. Um, I'm hooked. I'll go see it. But you're, you're all right about sh- like sticking the landing. You know, right. I think he's stuck the landing twice. In my opinion, he stuck the landing twice. In my opinion, after that, I was just like, okay, I did like lady in the water. Um, I liked signs. I liked, uh, of course the first one, uh, the six cents, um, six cents. The Makes one sense. where the plants are doing something was that was either it was Wahlberg <laughs> the that drew the, ha- yeah, the happening. The happening. Yeah, I I don't know what Wahlberg. that was about, but um, because we didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Plants are killing us. How's your mom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you almost want to you almost want to punch Wahlberg in the face, but um, <laughs> but uh, but knock uh, not knock. Did you see Watch Knock in the Cabin? Oh, I, that's the only one I haven't seen yet. I heard that was decent. Was that good? It's pretty good. It's pretty okay. good, yeah. I, okay. I've, I've missed most of his latest stuff. Like, I, yeah, I me, too. Seen me too. I avoided old. and I, haven't, uh, I avoided old, too. I know my kids saw a knock in the cabin, and they yeah. were like, eh, he was okay. Um, I didn't mind that one. What's the one where they, like, it's like a pilk, like it's old. The village. The village. village. Yes. I, I like the, the village. village. I didn't I mind that one at all. I thought that was an interesting yeah. twist. Um, but yeah, I, I like Greg, I've avoided the last couple of them. So, but that, I didn't even know that was that, but that just seemed interesting. Like the, I want to know what's with the canary. There has to be mm-hmm. something about they, that canary. Just, maybe. Is that the, yeah. Um, Go ahead. This was the first time I noticed like when her technology was shorting out. Yeah. Uh, those were Viking ruins. Oh, were they? Okay. On her, on her car. Uh, uh, LCD screen. Okay. So that made me go, oh, maybe. I mean, I always figured it'd be like aliens or something like that, but who knows? It could be. Yeah, this could be something not. else. Yeah. yeah He's done way. aliens before. He yeah. has. So cool. It, it's got a certain type of horror movie feel to it now that I think mm-hmm. is becoming pretty popular. Um, and even with some of the shows that I've seen, like, you know, the thing in the woods where we don't know what it is, is, is yeah. kind of a, a reoccurring thing right now. So. That will never get again. Uh, again, the the not seeing it is always a little more fun than when you actually yeah. see it. So, yeah, it's got to be something um, pretty cool. I will. I I might. It might be a big screen watch for me, but it's not like I'm gonna run out to see it. It's gonna be right. Are people right. are people watching it? You know, do I get a and invite? A, hey, a group of people are gonna do this. You know, tonight. Can you make it? And if I can, I'll be like, yeah, sure. But it's not one that I'm gonna seek out really. Okay, so that that is the uh, so that's June seventh, June fourteenth. Not a lot coming out because who in their right mind would put them up themselves up against Inside Out two from Pixar? So mm, of I can't I think, think of a person. I think this is going to be a good film. I'm pretty excited for it. So here we go. Oh, Inside is this it? I've never seen this. It's yeah. Joy coming to you live in Riley's mind. Make some noise. Get our mouth guard, people! Fear! No, no! That's not ours! Ugh. Disgust! Glad to have her on our team. Our little girl's growing up so fast. Ow. Sorry. It should be nothing but smooth sailing for- Hello! Ah. I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion! Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Uh. I'm envy! <gasps> Air. Oh, yeah, not happening. That's on we. On what? <sighs> it's what you would call the boredom. Uh, what's your name, big fella? That's embarrassment. Welcome to headquarters, embarrassment. Mm. Oh, we're doing a fit. No. Oh, <gasps> nope. Going mm. high. Oh, mm. you got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> mm. 
Look, we all have a job to do. I plan for the future. You want to sit with us? These girls are so cool. Well, we can't let her know we're excited. I got this. Uh, Joy, I'm just curious. Maybe um, I could Thank you. Help. Not now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <gasps> that's not going to haunt us for the rest of our lives at all. Oh, you feel it all right. I know change is scary. Let's do this. Hey, Riley. But we need new friends or we'll be totally alone in high school. Out with the old, in with the new. Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. <gasps> you can't just bottle us up. We are suppressed emotions. Oh, oh, Let Operation New Riley begin. Uh, you aren't packed yet? I'm the worst. <laughs> well, that's a preview of the next 10 years. Come on, Riley needs us. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Many times. It's the sarcasm! Sarcasm? Boy, are we so lucky we ran into you guys! Boy, are we so lucky we ran into you guys! Wow, those guys are jerks. Wow, those guys are jerks. <laughs> that looks good. I'm gonna cry. I can't wait. That looks good. Yeah. That looks fun. It does. Yeah. Yep. Looks the... nice. It's the best horror film. <laughs> if coming out. Uh, I know, I know three out of the four of us have daughters, so I think it's gonna get us in our dad hearts hard at some point. Oh, you and think so? We're gonna be oh yeah, I think so. I think it's Pixar, I think it's having to do with daddy daughter stuff at some point, and or even just daughter stuff. Right. And yeah. we're gonna be like, <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, this is this is fantastic. This movie's so stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. you got me again. Before. We were watching something, again. uh, the three of us as a family the other day, and it was one of those moments where the dad I don't know what movie it was, but the dad's like, I will always love you no matter what. And she goes, Dad, that's what you say to me all the time. And I just, I just started, I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> Pause this for a minute. Ursula's like, Yep, I'm on it. I yep. understand. Go ahead. <laughs> I gotta go lift some weights. Yeah. Yep. yeah. There you go. Do something with Paul for fix, like yeah. fix the car or something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, but yeah, that, that should be fun. I look forward to that. Forget it. Yeah. yeah. So I know I know Pixar hasn't hit every single time for me, but I Inside Out I think was just genius. And I love that. They got yeah, the whole team that. back to I'm like, this will be good. Yeah. So, so I'm there. All right, moving on to June twenty first. Um, this is one I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll see it. Uh, it's called the Bike Riders. Uh, oh, is this the yeah, yeah? It's I, I think it's like a nineteen fifties kind of yep, yeah. kind of kind of thing. Um, not really my era, not really my speed, but uh, uh, it's Austin got some Butler good people. Yeah, Jeff Hardy, Austin Butler's and Jeff, not Jeff Hardy. He's he's good good actor. Yeah, Hardy, so yeah. we'll yeah. see. Here we go. I'm thinking of starting a writing club. Why? All those clubs do is sit around talking about motorcycles. That's what we do. You don't belong nowhere else, so they belong together. But you're the man in charge. I'm John. We're the man, I'm Ben. I like you guys. Your boyfriends are getting into trouble. Shit. What the hell were you thinking back then? Nothing. I saw you scoring off of them guys. What do I need to think for? Hey, you and me, kid. Johnny always loved Benny. This is our family. Forever. Hey! I told you to take that jacket off. You'd have to kill me to get this jacket off. I don't want any trouble here. Then I'll let you leave. What about the bar? Find it down. We gotta go. Nah, we don't. 
They're scared of us. These young guys, they ain't gotta follow nobody except somebody who can hold their own. The club is changing. Running drugs, gambling. Is that who we are now? You can't have him, he's mine. But if he keeps riding, he's gonna die one way or another. I need you. Some people would rather crash than slow down. Okay, I lied. I do want to see it. <laughs> yeah. I think I, that I looks great. The the preview I'd watched before wasn't as detailed as that one as far as the story goes. Um and it, it until I saw the based on true events, and I'm like, oh, this is like the formation of of motorcycle gangs in this country. Yeah. At, or or in you know, Chicago formation of a sort yeah. of, you know. And I go, okay, that's kind of interesting to me. I think there's some historic stuff going on there that I don't know about. It's again, it's not a run out to the theater and see it for me. I'll, I can certainly watch it at home uh, when it's streaming, but I'll watch it. I mean, what I don't know is why can't they ever let Tom Hardy use his real voice in the movie? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. He what do you mean? Me- it's, it's Tom Hardy. He does what he likes to do. I mean, I just, I don't need. Even- you got to watch an interview with him just to know what his real voice is like. You know to, what, to though? Me, Maybe that's yeah. not the director. Maybe Tom Maybe just walks in there and says, hey, yes. man, this, this is, is the voice someone talk. use. Okay, yeah. oh, okay Tom. <laughs> you going to argue with him? Yeah. There's there's a great story of, uh, oh, the Denzel Washington Western that he did, the remake. Uh, Magnificent the, Seven. Magnificent Seven. Of, um, oh, See, I hate it when people just their names leave my head. Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, Vincent yeah. D'Onofrio. He plays this giant bear of a character. And like he's like in the first scene, I think he literally lifts a guy up against a wooden wall and puts a bowie knife through him. And like when he finally he does this big action scene, like beating up guys and killing them and stuff. And then he finally gets a line and he just comes out and he's talking like this the whole time. And the director's like, Okay, let's let's go again. Well, let's do it one more time. And so they do it. And they're finally like, is that the voice he's gonna use? And so they're talking to like Denzel Washington and Chris Brandy. He's like, Can you go ask him if that's what and they're like, We're not talking to him about it. <laughs> like, nope, he can do whatever he wants. That's what I said. Offer, right? Yeah. <laughs> to me, this feels very uh I love stories like this. Me I too. Bronx, a Bronx tale. I love you know, this is, seems like that's in that same vein, uh, and I really this is a movie I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna love because it's it's not they try to put as much action in the trailer as possible, but this isn't all action. This is more about mm-hmm. building relationships, and I think that's that's an important thing to see, and I'm I'm looking forward to that. Plus, with Tom Hardy, I mean, everything he does, almost everything he does, is amazing. So, yeah, I'm all in. Yeah, I and the think time period, kind of like what you were saying, Greg. Uh, the time period doesn't really do it for me, but at the mm-hmm. same time, after seeing that trailer, yeah, it looks. I'm in. Yeah, I think it's 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 like this feels like, uh, the a motorcycle gang equivalent to the Goodfellas, and like how yeah. it just builds, mm-hmm. like how they start mm-hmm. out as just maybe a bunch of bikers that just want to hit the road, and then it turns into, it just escalates. Because they, you know, they get a little bit of power, and then it's how much power can I take? So, yeah, I'm in. I like to see it. All right. We got G. Well, moving it, moving on to the end of June, June 28th. Uh, two movies coming out. One of them I kind of watched the trailer for, it, and it's a weird. Like Kevin Costner has done a movie called Horizon, an American saga, and it's part one and part two that are coming out just about a month apart. Yep. Mm. Um. And finding a trailer that would play well didn't really work, but that is coming out. And I think that's going to be 
uh, a Amazing. big movie for uh, definitely fans of the Kevin Costner era and, and westerns and stuff. So I think that's going to oh, be cool. good. I apologize for not getting a trailer for it. Um, well, I'm all in. I saw the trailer and it's. Oh, did you? It's, yeah, it's. Uh, well, I love Kevin Costner and I like Dances with Wolves and I liked, well, mm. I didn't like Waterworld, but uh, Yellowstone is one of my favorite shows mm. and I'm excited to see her eyes. And I think, it's do you be, feel like, I love, uh, I love Westerns. Ken, have you watched the, I think it's called 1883. Yeah. Uh, mm. it, yes. I saw all of 1883. Mm. I haven't seen all of 1920 yet. Though. Okay. The 1883. Um, that's the one where they establish it right with the young daughter and the, that's, it's so they Yellowstone yeah, prequel. It's it's the prequel where they okay. make their way. She gets so that's the closest. She, I'm sorry. Spoilers. That's yeah, the closest no, to the western, right? That's the closest yeah. to to the actual west. Yeah. Okay. To, Is to, Horizon to, like in that type of Horizon set in the old west? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's after the Civil War. It's, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Westward expansion house. Yeah. So, um. Check that out on your own. Uh, that looks good. Uh, also, in the same weekend, uh, two mo- the other film that's I don't think really going to compete for the same ticket is A Quiet Place Day One, which mm. I am shocked yes. that they're doing a third movie. Like this, this concept has been able to play out, but it's played out well. Like yeah. I saw A Quiet Place Two, and I went, I didn't think they could do another one with this concept, but it worked really well. It worked. And now they're doing a day one, and I'm like, well, now I'm kind of really interested to see what happened, like in the cities and stuff. Yeah, it, it's got a little bit of the purge feel, where it, it seemed like a one trick pony, but they've been able to stretch it out and make most of the films actually um, enjoyable mm-hmm. and, and good. So uh, here we go with A Quiet Place Day. Those things are so fucking scary. Like that world is so scary. <laughs> so scary. <sighs> I'm interested to find out how they realize sound is what causes everything. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like who's the first one to not make a sound to stay alive? That'll be interesting to kind of see how they're able to figure that one out. Yeah. Well, you know, you know it's a full on franchise. You got Jim on uh, Jim on Hansu in it. Yep. <laughs> It's fantastic. I mean, it's really love that guy. And I, I like this. John Krasinski's on a bit of a roll right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, he's got this and he's got if coming out as well. Um, so we'll see how 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 both these play against each other. Um I'm glad he's doing if because I think if he keeps riding this pony, it's gonna he's gonna he's gonna back himself into a corner. Right. But this, mm-hmm. this looks interesting. I mean, uh, Lupita Nyongo looks great. Yeah, he's great. I, I'm uh, I'm excited about seeing the genesis of these things and why if we find out why they came right mm-hmm. was it just happenstance or was it a plan or right. i don't know if we'll even get into that but um yeah looking forward to it 
Uh, keeping things rolling, we're getting into the, to the July 4th weekend, which is spread out over three days this year, the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, so July 3rd, eh, I, I will just get into it. It's Despicable Me 4, <laughs> and we'll talk about it. <laughs> 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 Hello, everybody. Drew, what's up? Wait a minute. Three <laughs> girls, one wife. Something is missing. This guy. Oh, there's my boy. I know you love your dada. Go on, say it. Dada. Dada. Of course he loves you. He just he just doesn't show it on his face. Or with his body language. <laughs> right, Gru Jr., come on. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxine Rabal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru! <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor, Maxine! Oh. I love this place! The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential dangers. I trained myself! I think if we're all kind of in the same spot or we're all just frozen and I'm the only one talking. About no, it. I, I, I don't really, I, care. I don't care. It's just a money grab. It is. I think the soundtrack is the best part of that whole franchise. Honestly. Yeah. I have, yeah, I have Spotify for that. Well, <laughs> like, I know that's I what I mean. Like, just, just send out the CDs. That's it. <laughs> and, eh, I, I mean, I hope I'm glad some animators are getting jobs out of that and some, some other people. I mean, I don't, just, you know what? I am at that at that stage in my life where I will probably be taking Gwen to that just because she's six and she's the right age group yeah. for it. Yeah, I mean that that works, so, but yeah, but I mean I'll probably be on my phone know. scrolling while she's yeah. watching that. Yeah, it'll help me pay the bills. That's for sure. I'll, I'll uh, be honest. Oh like, sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Lots of people like, absolutely. Um, yeah, but I. I I would fall asleep. I know. Like if I was sitting there with my kids, I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah. He's, he, yeah, you can tell the, the level of interest. I mean, even Steve Carell, he's affecting that voice so much. He's phoning it in. At this point. Yeah. He's, yeah. He care. Yeah. He's just, he's just collecting a check. And yep. the, I mean, the story seems dumb. I mean, not, yeah. I mean, not that it was really all that, uh, you know, heady before, but it was right. cool when it was a villain and now he's got, you know these three girls that he's got to look at, and but now it's just like okay, you're you're not a villain anymore. You're right. you're a super spy family, whatever. But okay, so um, that was July third, July fourth. There's a movie coming out called Kill. I have not watched this trailer yet. Um, looks it interesting. Called? Kill, kill, okay. kill is the name of it. Uh, I believe kill. it's a foreign film. Yeah. Uh, very limited piece. release. Very, very limited. But again, it's July 4th weekend. I mean, it's 
it's coming out on July 4th. So that's, that makes it kind of a big deal. So here we go. Welcome. Please prepare for departure. We hope you have a safe, pleasant, and delightful journey ahead. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. Yep. <laughs> I got the raid feel from that, honestly. Yeah. I mean, and that was a sleeper film until we all saw it and went, holy crap, everybody needs to see this. John. I just hope there's a I, I just hope there's there's a there's a I don't know. A story. I, I, I start to see more and more of these. And every every couple of years or every decade they they try to push these a bunch of action flicks until eventually we just lose all story completely. And it's just, mm -hmm. you know, it's just guns akimbo or it's just shoot them up. Or, and it's just, it, it, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll see it and I'll give it every benefit of the doubt, but I hope there's a story. I am the story. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the same way, Ken. I just, I'm, I've, I feel like I've seen this. I feel like I've already seen this movie and all it's going it, to, it, all I'm going to see is a guy get beat up more. Okay. Okay. So I guess the pushback is that for one, I think the fact that it's coming out of India uh, gives it some cred for me because mm -hmm. anytime I've seen groundbreaking action in the last decade, it's come from somewhere else, uh, yeah. it, not an American film. And I see American films trying to mimic or re reproduce what other countries are putting out. And as far as their action goes to the point where I'm sorry, the last John Wick film didn't do it for me. It, it was like, kind of like what you said, Ken, it was 15 pages of dialogue in over two hours of action that the story just wasn't there for me. Um, where I think why I brought up the raid had a great story and great action. Mm -hmm. um, I just watched uh, uh, oh, Dev Patel's Monkey uh, Man. Monkey Man, um, deep story, great mm -hmm. action. I mean, I think I think there's more to it, and I, hope I, so. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I hope so. Because right. yeah, I, Keanu Reeves is losing. I just watched, tried to watch Matrix Resurrection. Oh, that was so bad. God. Tried it, and they and oh, they got greenlit for another yeah. one. I know. Oh, I, I know can't believe so that. Yeah, when I heard so about that, now I'm like, oh my god, another one. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're going for another one. Um, so next up is the round out of the July Fourth weekend. Uh, for July fifth, we've got Maxine from A twenty four. Um. It's kind it's sequel ish to uh Pearl and X. So if you know what those are, then uh then then you get a pretty good idea what this is. So uh here is next. So Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? Curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. 
If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and, through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with that freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past ain't finished with you. It's going to keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 Maxine. Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. Okay, I'm I'm interested, but you said this is a sequel to something? Like I don't know what what's I don't I don't know how to view this. It's almost like spiritual sequels where it's the the same actress has been in a movie called uh she was first in a movie called X and then she did a movie called Pearl and now uh there's Maxine where they're they're slasher films essentially. Um and I'm, I'm not real clear on the tie. I've only ever, I've only seen Pearl. Um, so I don't know. It's eight twenty four. Good movie. Eight twenty four. Yeah, good actually, okay. I mean, my my oldest daughter loves. Them. She's like they're really good. And Pearl was good for a slasher film. Um, okay, so they're slasher films. Okay. The the thing about this one that I'm a little uh, a little nervous about is that now it's got some star power behind it with the other actors and actresses that are in it. And I wonder if it's going to lose a little bit of its A twenty four ness, if you know what I mean. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It, it has that feel of um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so exactly. I didn't know. Yeah. Is this some sort of like guy that's like I I don't know anything about this Ty West, so I have no idea if he is like Oof. Quentin Tarantino, where he's going to make his own alternate history or something like that, or I didn't know his own world. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It's, I'll watch it. Sure. Yeah. It's Fincheresque to me. What'd you say? It's 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 very Fincheresque. It's, it's got a lot of David. Oh, Fincher. Fincheresque. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It feels okay. very David Fincher to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would I would definitely agree with that. And it's you know the, to me this soundtrack is pretty amazing. Uh, I love 1985. Mm-hmm. That's that's my wheelhouse right there. Yeah. So uh, it's it's intriguing. And uh, there's a, there seems to be a lot of nostalgia in there for stuff I'll, mm-hmm. I'll enjoy. Good, uh, I'll see it. Good way to describe it. Intriguing. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. Yeah. All right. Well, that takes us out of the uh, July Fourth weekend. We get to July twelfth. Coming up is a movie put out by Apple TV called "Fly Me to the Moon." Fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Here we go. Hey, Joe. Even cold. Miss, you're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. <gasps> oh my God. Alcohol and flames. They like each other. <laughs> cold days. Kelly Jones. Public support for the moon mission is rock right bottom. Every day, something is breaking. And we're dead again. You're blowing up. 
The space program is a bloated mess. NASA needs a marketing specialist, and you are the very best. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. NASA's not something that you sell with a jingle and a slogan. When I'm done, those men are going to be bigger than the Beatles. Who is that? For me, this is a very person. He's got my name. You told me that your guys don't do interviews, so I had to hire new guys. I'm here for the casting. Who's he? You. You're a juicy part. 60 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. How's that? What? <laughs> the whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. We need to shoot the backup version of the moon landing. You mean to fake it? No one can ever know what we're doing. I cannot accept that. They will shoot you. What is my budget? Oh, boy. I know a lot more about the moon than I know about you. Give me go, no go for launch. If you fake this mission, every single thing that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing. You know you couldn't have made it to this day without me. Four, three, two, one. And... My Armstrong is a whiny little witch we have to recast. Hollywood is a man, uh, a land of make believe, and I got to believe that Channing Tatum works at NASA. <laughs> <laughs> or that, it's, or know, the... it's funny you said that because I actually thought, okay, this is a different role for him. I, I can get behind. It it. Let's see what it he is. can do with this. Let's see what he can do with this. I thought at first. Yeah. This is weird. It went from I thought it was going to be like some sort of love story to now is it are we faking the moon? Is that what's what what are we doing? I think here? it's yes to everything in there. Yeah, I think all, it's a okay. rom com okay. wrapped around. Yeah. Okay. That. I, I think it looks fun. I'm in. Sure. I like to wag the dog, so sure. I was gonna say wag the dog mm-hmm. up in the air. Yeah. Yeah, up in the air. Yeah. This is all very, very uh, reminiscent of, of those films. I mean, it's 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 not a new, uh, it's not a concept, new <laughs> concept yeah. at all. Yeah. But it's it's fun, and I like Scarlett Johansson, and I like Channing Tatum. Uh, yeah. I like him as the lovable goof. We'll see if he's all right as the crunchy. Uh, old he guy, seems like he's playing it straight. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah he, he does. does. He's the straight guy. So straight nerdy guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Street gonna be a little nerdy. hard. The nerdy guy, right. M- right. military nerdy guy. fighter pilot. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Um, it, I have Apple TV, so I'm sure I'll watch it when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, next up, and the same day, we have a movie called Long Legs, and check this out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not what you think. I'm surprised. <laughs> Oh, well, already I'm getting a different vibe.
Yeah, yeah, you had me till Nick Cage. What? So <laughs> like you watch it and you're like, and Nicholas Cage. And like, Nicholas of Cage. Course, oh, of course. Yeah, of course. John, you all right? Is it over? Is it over? It's yeah, over. It's over. Right. Oh, thank Freak God. Out a little Gee, bit. I'm, little I'm out. No, fuck that. I'm out. I don't need to watch that. I don't need to go home and think about that. I don't need. I'm. I'm. I'm actually very upset you brought this on the show, Greg, because I have to go to bed after this, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm at a very fragile state in my mindset right now, and, oh, I, and that's just not. And the way your house is decorated, isn't that far off of some of those shots? Oh saying, John. God, I'm down. I'm, I'm down in the basement. Horrible. I'm down in the basement by myself. That's, and my that's, dog that's... came down and sniffed my leg. And... Yeah, that's one of those. <laughs> what? Ah, what's going on? Oh yeah, that would have freaked me out too. Yo, holy! I just, I'm out. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. I could, like, at my in my twenties, I could have watched that movie easily. But what is behind is he... you, Ken? What is that? This is Where? dog. Is it dog or is oh, it it's colder? I'm not sure. Something yeah. like Something black weird. was moving behind you, man. Yeah, that was my dog. Oh. But then I, I then I got a pump um, a monkey puppet sitting over here, and its head is outside the club. I just I got I'm in a house of horrors right now. Oh, okay, <laughs> guys, that's right. what it is. All right, well, go ahead, guys. I gave you my shtick. Yeah, I think we all have the same. The, uh, yeah, the title when it was coming across the screen, I was trying to figure out how that was going to spell out long legs, but I think I was too distracted by that. But yeah, it was. <laughs> I also might have shit my pants, but you know, whatever. That's yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know. I, I don't even know what's like, is it like a silence of the land? Like, I have no idea what the hell that thing is. And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah no, I'm out. No clue. No Greg, clue you, the story. Like, Greg, no. you can tell me everything about it. I'll feel better that way. <laughs> See, it was funny. It was like, I wouldn't have watched that in my twenties, but now I'm like, eh, maybe, yeah, maybe. No. It, it looked to me a little bit like uh, Barbarian, if you, if uh, that weird out there kind of film. I think maybe it's in that vein. Who knows? But yeah, oh, another uh, this... exorcism movie. Uh, yeah, but see, then I'm going to be out. Like I'm yeah, not, not into that. But this next film, I think John's going to be all over. He talked about it in our last show, so I'm just. Oh, gonna, we're going to pop right in. Yes, you did. Coming up on July 19th. Is you sound so disgusted that I'm happy. About reboot something. of Twisters. Oh, Twisters! I talked about this? Guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive! Go! 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 Tyler Owens calls himself the Tornado Wrangler. If you feel it, chase it! I said if you feel it, chase it! Alright, here we go. Oh, she's perfect! She's gorgeous! You thought you could destroy a tornado. We never had a chance. You want one? You don't face your fears. You ride them. Nope. Okay, I have a question. So is this actually a reboot or is this a sequel? Uh unknown right now, I think. Uh, I think it's I don't I don't think it's a reboot. You think it's uh, I think, you think it's, it will tie back? Well, I think it does well. I don't know if it'll tie back, there. but it, it could yeah, just, Dorothy's back. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dots. It, I think it could it could be. I mean, their kid. I don't know. I don't know. Bill Pax, no Bill Paxton makes me sad. Well, yeah. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking up IMDb right now to see. Uh, if it's, Greg, if it will give us. Greg, uh, turned my attention to Glenn Powell. Um, Powell's gonna we, have a big summer. We were doing yes. a we were doing some sort of casting for some sort of movie, and he said, "What about Glenn Powell?" And I, I didn't know who that was. We looked him up, and I feel like since he brought that to my attention, this guy has been like ready to be unleashed. He he, I don't think he's found that one that one uh that one movie that's going to jettison him. Yeah, to like start them, and this looks like it might be, but I feel yeah, like I think it, he's got another one coming out this summer. That I think might, he does. We might we might hit that, so I won't talk about it yet. But I think that might be his. Oh, he does. We're not. I it? had to cut that one, but uh, because it's in May. Um, what is it? It's a movie called Hitman. Uh, oh, okay. it's called Hitman, and okay. he's coming out where he's actually playing multiple characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not multiple characters. He's playing a hitman that does like, um different personas as a hitman where he's like a cowboy once and then he's a a suave yeah. businessman and then he'll be like a nerd yeah it's almost uh i was ex explaining to my wife it seems like a pink panther film with clouseau playing the different kind of pieces but it's glenn powell being a hitman um i actually i just watched his film anyone but you uh okay. which is out on i believe netflix right now because yep. i'm netflix. like i'm like can this guy carry a film and he can I mean, he's, I think John's right. I think he's going to hit something that's going to make him blow up and um, he's going to be, yeah. he's going to be a good leading man for a he's while. He's got the looks and he's got the name. He's definitely a throwback. He feels yep. like he's been around forever, but he, yeah, he, you're right. He hasn't. Right. Yeah. And he's, um, he's got comedic timing so he can do that. He can play charming. Uh, and he, we've seen, like, I'd only seen him play like fighter pilot roles. First movie I, I saw him in was Hidden Figures. Maverick. Uh, yeah, nope. he was in Maverick too. He I was in Maverick, yes, but yeah. playing a fighter pilot. He right. played John Glenn in Hidden Figures, uh, yeah. and just nailed uh, it. And, you know, so this is an in-name only sequel to Twister. Yep, I was just looking that up too. They they call it a uh, an update to the 1996 films. Yeah. Okay. But we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But what else? Yeah, Glenn Glenn Powell. I think. I think he's going to be the next uh, big he's thing. He's going to be on the, the, the next, next, uh, next Brad Pat Pitt track, I think. Patrick Swayze. Yeah, that guy's. <laughs> he's going to be the next wave. That, gonna guy's, be the next that wave. guy's. That guy's ready. Yeah. Uh, he's got then, all. He's got that X factor. Yeah, he's got the it. That's a wonderful segue into our next uh, trailer here, Ken, because we're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. There it is. So here we go. Here is fun, the fun, uh, fun, fun, fun. red band trailer. Kids, if you're still up, uh, plug your ears because there's some swearing. Uh, but it looks like fun. So here we go. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm going to need you to come with me right now. Look, lady. I'm not interested. <laughs> All right. I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. <laughs> Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Life helps feed on me. Make it. I'm no hero. You were an X Man. You were the X Man. I am soaking wet right now. <laughs> This is so silly. This is what 
I'm talking about. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. to do some cocaine. Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? Even forest bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! But I can't. I'm Gonna all aboard for that. Oh, I'm all aboard for that. Let's yeah. fucking go. I'm all, I'm it's... all on board for that. It, it, it's weird that you know, Marvel has uh, kind of been putting out mediocre at best projects, and then yeah. here comes Deadpool to save it all. So yeah, and you know, Ryan Ryan Reynolds' his stick can start to get a little bit old, but uh, this is such such a perfect role yeah. for him yes. that it works yes. so well, and and Hugh Jackman just all in is mm-hmm. what makes it fantastic. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, I've heard some extra one-liners that I'm not going to ruin on this show, but there are some good ones coming up. They're fun. Yeah. And some cameos that are just going to be... Yeah, I hear. It's, mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I heard everybody started leaking them, and I've completely ignored all that. I'm just, I'm like, I'm not listening to a damn thing. I'm just going to, you know, watch the trailer, and that's it. So yeah, that was, and, that was my first time seeing that trailer because I've oh. still been waiting for oh, it to show up on the big screen. <laughs> oh, you have so it on the big screen. I know I didn't get a chance to watch. Oh, it, I was gonna so, say you played it uh, in front of. Uh, oh man, last night. that's I. That's awesome. Yeah, looks yeah. fun. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun. It does. And I'm one, actually I was one of those. Uh, I think I I think I spoke to Greg. I was one of the people that that I'm not a I wasn't a big fan of Deadpool the character. No. Oh really. I, yeah, I wasn't in the, a big co- in the comics of, or the movies. In the comics, I wasn't a big fan okay. of it. And then I thought him going to the MCU, I didn't like that idea. And now I'm like, bring it on, like let's have some fun. So yeah, it looks like they're doing it right. It's not like yeah. they're rewriting the whole thing or trying to Disney Disney eyes the <laughs> the franchise. Yeah, not without making jokes. Okay. Um, no, the and bringing in the TVA and like the, the cross dimensional kind of stuff is going to yeah. be a big part of this film. So I, I think why not? Let's just, yeah. let's do it. Let's make it a baby. Oh, you're going to do Bobby. Um, so I yeah. like that. That life felt uh, just feet though. That was yeah, yeah. Funny. feet only yeah. man. And that's, that's one of those movies. I think you got to watch maybe three times to find all those little things they have oh, in yeah. there. Yeah. I'm watching the struggle with Ken and his dog. It's cracking me up. So, oh, yeah, go. should be fun. I'm looking forward to that for sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, so that's uh, really nothing. I mean, there are other movies coming out that weekend, which will fail can't miserably. Anybody's going to fight against that. To yeah. try to match up to, to Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, so that takes us into August. So here we are in yep, August 2nd with that, kind of that slope in, uh, kind of coming out of summer. Uh, so movies that people haven't really maybe heard of yet, but could be good. Next one up uh, is August 2nd. We've got two movies we're going to do. Uh, first one is called Cuckoo. Cuckoo? Cuckoo. I have not watched this trailer yet. Mom, I really want to come home. I'm getting back. Oh, oh no. another neon. Oh, no. Oh, Close your eyes. Sorry, yeah, Thank careful, you. Johnny. Gretchen, come say hi. Dan Stevens. Yeah, I'm, okay, again. Yeah. I'm your neighbor. I haven't heard about you. Why would you have heard about me? Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. How would you like to come work for me at the resort? sometimes you look like you don't belong here why is there nobody working the reception after 10 i want you to lock the doors and wait for me i will come pick you up right now
Why did you bring us here? Your family belongs here. That's a fucking weird way to put it. You told the police that you were chased by a woman. I think I'm crazy. Nature is quite remarkable. Oh, it feels so good. Some species need our help. I'm giving you the chance to be of great use in our quest for preservation. Consider yourself lucky. That's nothing like a TV show. That's not weird reboot. Uh, <sighs> let me write down some notes. Stay away from neon films. <laughs> <laughs> Just... oh, oh, it looks so weird. It's oh, so weird. totally weird. Totally weird. Like, I, I can't do that. I feel like anytime thing. you see. <laughs> Anything with body gore or body horror or whatever, like, yeah, that's not me. Yeah, I, I just, I, you know, what's not me walking out of a, an experience like a, a, a movie and going, what? Like, that's, I can't do that. <laughs> You're just like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just, I yeah, like, you I'm... feel like this and you can't, and I hate, I just hate the people that do the look, like, I can't stand that type of. Oh. The the weird the yeah weird, yeah, the yeah. Weird, yeah God the, 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 the like extra the 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 yes. walk God yeah. Yeah. so the the scariest the 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 scene that sticks with me the most and I've watched a lot of horror films but the one that sticks with me the most that I can never get out of my head and always freaks me out is Exorcist three I believe where they're in a hospital. And it's a slow pan down the hospital and the nurse walks back, back and forth. And then the last time she walks across mm -hmm. and then it's just the, the screeching screen and the, the, the thing coming after her with the big shears and she yeah. gets her head cut off this, whatever this thing uh -huh. was looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> just a whole movie of, of that. So I'm, uh, I'm, I, I'm usually all in on horror films. I am out. Uh, help me out because like, you guys know the movie history better than I do. Are horror films, do they come out in the summers? Well, I just I mean, feel no. like there's a lot coming out unless oh. Greg is just showing us all the horror no, movies. I'm not, horror. Just, I'm not just picking and choosing. Oh. They're all year round. Like, horror you think films they'd be are in October, but they're really not. And they're the most, they're, they're the most done, right? I mean, any, any young auteur that wants to do movies, they pretty much always start out in horror because you got automatic and built in tension and, and, and all this story that you can pull from and jump scares and things that'll pull people in. Yeah. Like horror. There's just so much of it. Yeah. So I'm out of yeah. that. If no one knew that I'm out of that one as well. I, I think as soon as neon came on, we knew you were out. We were like, Ooh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, good for a new studio coming out with two big, two movies in a yeah. summer. I mean, that's, yeah, and I wonder if some them. of this had to do with like some of the writer strike, the actor strike that these are just have been delayed and they're like, we got to get these things out here and it's going to be this summer. So, yeah. um, so it could be, uh, but on the same weekend, here's a little lighter fare for you, John. You might be able to check Thank out you. this. Uh, this is called Harold and the Purple Crane. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. When someone tells a story, they create an entire world. And usually, the characters stay there. But there are legends of characters so real. With the crayon, anything is possible. That they step right into this world. Let's see how this baby works in the real world. Whoa. That is 
creative. <laughs> and terrifying. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Do you know what brought you to life? It's what your crayon has made of. The most mysterious, powerful, extraordinary stuff on Earth. Wax. Pure imagination. Okay, I am getting really good at this. What were you thinking? Oh, no, honestly, I, I don't do a lot of thinking. True. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Zachary okay. Levi doing what Zachary Levi does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, is, is he's getting typecasted now, isn't he? In a bad I'd way. He, yeah. I, it, well, I, I don't know that he ever wasn't. I mean, okay. Even, yeah. Chuck, even Chuck was was very much the lovable goofball who. Like who the Kurt Warner one was like the one time when he kind of stepped out, and I was like, okay, oh, now maybe we can see him a little bit. But even that, even that was still. Um, he was still had moments where it was right. definitely not Kurt Warner. It was it was more Zachary Levi. Yeah, I would say he he had a recurring role, and I think season three of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, which was a departure from his. Uh, I mean, he, yeah. he was just, I mean, just playing a straight, you know, like 1950s doctor who was interested in a girl. I mean, it was okay. no, no real, uh, no real character uh, quirks or anything about him for him to really be Zach Levi with. Um, but, you know, yeah, his films, yeah, it's all him being a cartoon. Uh, but, you know, is that a uh, famous book or something? I've never heard the of it. The kid with the purple. It, yeah, I think so. I think there's a there's a um, a whole series, a series of that. Mm. That's what I thought. Okay. My kids are out of that stage, so. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah I um, yeah that's that's has to be one of those things that comes out on Max one day. I'm not yeah, oh, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um, next up. Uh, is one that I'm personally excited about because it's part of a video game series that I have played many, many, oh, many yes. hours on. Oh, yes. So here we go with Borderlands. Uh, I'm I'm excited. I hope my game group can come up and see it with me, or at least the dudes. Oh, I think I saw this. This looks fun. Um, yeah, because it, and that's what it should be. Is just yeah. pure lighthearted <clears throat> sci-fi pop. This planet. Would you look at that? A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of. Well, destiny awaits. Legend has it that there's this massive treasure hidden in some secret vault. And if you go hunting for it, you'd better take any help you can get. Because it's on the weirdest, most dangerous dumpster fire of a world in the universe. God, I hate this planet. What is that smell? Piss wash gully. Ew! Put the window up! I don't want to! Roll the window up! Roll the window up! It's Pete. It's Pete. Why do you think it's called piss wash? How did I get the name? It's in my mouth! Oh. How many people have died looking for this vault? We have something they don't, baby girl. Okay. What? Major issues. Time to make it rain with your body parts. What did I tell you? Minimal no explosions. I said no explosions. Mine's a bigger. What are you doing? I needed a gun. So you asked for it. There's 
There's only one of you in the world. And you're special. Uh oh. Kill them all. happening right now i'm expelling the excess lead i can't go if you're looking at me Ooh, actually scrap that i can i really can actually it's helping are we really waiting for this to finish keep looking at me oh. you know that raw that i didn't know it's it's the game is insane crazy yeah. i mean I know, i've heard a lot of people compare the trailer to like a guardians of the galaxy kind mm-hmm. of feel mm-hmm. um and i see the comparisons like with the soundtrack and stuff like that but the game itself uh right if, it, they, it's, keep, if they keep to it i, I think it, it's it's, it's very much not guardians of the galaxy but it, it yeah. should be it should be fun it That's seems fun. like guardians of the galaxy meet, meets mad max a little bit a yeah. little bit more but the level of batshit crazy that can happen in the game is so entertaining. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. So the only thing, my yeah. only, my only problem with that is is Kevin Hart. I just think Kevin Hart can get too much into Kevin Hart, and he takes away mm-hmm. from what the movie. That's all. Uh, I'm going to agree with you on that one. He is not who I would cast in that because they are playing characters from the game, like those okay. those uh, characters that they're playing, and <clears throat> he is the it, to me, the wrong type of casting for him. I would have went with like Winston Duke or, or mm-hmm. someone like that. Who, um, by the way, Winston Duke in Fall Guy is awesome. Like, is he good? I've was liked Fall Guy everything good? that was that, Fall Guy good. Fall Guy was amazing. Like awesome. I, everybody good. should really head good. out to the town to go see Fall Guy because it awesome. is awesome. Good. Uh, really. Um, who's the guy in the like? It looks like the hockey mask, big muscle guy. Who's that? Um, do we know who's playing it? I. I don't off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I just thought, but he's, he's what the, in the game, they call him a psycho. Okay. But he is a psycho that has kept his humanity a little bit mm. uh, because mostly they just charge you and, and that's it. Blow up and yeah. say weird, weird stuff. Like it's time to make the chili. And then oh. they blow themselves up and you're like, what, what <laughs> it's, it's weird, um, okay. but it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> I got some uh, the Suicide Squad kind of vibes from that yeah. one, which oh, is yeah. kind of yeah, like see. you know yeah. Guardians as well, but the good one, of course, not the first one. I really I think it's the mo- the the colorful characters, the weirdness of it all with the music is just yeah. very James Gunn. Yeah, I haven't seen a rating on it yet, but it should like if they're going to keep it with the game, it should be an R. But I could see him going for a PG thirteen just to to try to. Bring in Let's, a wider audience. I, I was thinking about that too like when I was watching that because yeah, if it's R, I feel like that could do really well. If mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. PG thirteen, I feel like people are going to be like, well, it'll be you know they'll still see it, but I, I feel like it has like yeah. a Deadpool kind of feel to it. Otherwise, I can tell you the fans of it would would want the R. Yeah, anybody knows the game, and that's the that's who they're trying. That's who they're trying to attract. Mm-hmm. It should be enough. Okay, so that that's where I will be uh, on August 9th. Um, we actually jump then to the uh, to the sixteenth, I believe. Um, let's see, that correctly. Uh, the seventeenth uh, is the coming back. Oh, come on now, work for me, computer. Um, the return to a classic 80s franchise that I actually just watched uh, the second one to today. Uh, we're coming back to Alien. And oh, OK. Yep. It, and I, I'm actually a little excited about this one. I have not really enjoyed the last two Alien films uh, much at all. Prometheus um, and the other one. Prometheus. Right. Okay. And and Covenant. and what's the other one? Covenant, I think. Covenant, Covenant, Covenant. Yes. Yeah, Alien Covenant. Um, yeah. Didn't really enjoy those uh, I agree as far you. as the stories go. No. Uh, this one looks looks like a return to form uh, in an updated uh, kind of way. So here we go. Get it away. Oh, my God. 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 Oh,
Run. all we get that's all you should do that's all you don't, need. Show, yeah. That, yeah. That's, don't yeah. show us anything else that's all we need mm-hmm. um i would agree yeah i uh okay i think the scariest part of that was those things busting out of the windows and coming after them busting out yep. of that door though the I, the face huggers jesus those things are mm-hmm. scary but yeah i did do uh, i did look into it a little bit because i saw what's coming up i mean it's not I, I like where it's where it's set. I like okay. I like the story that's that's attached to it so far. So I'm I'm looking forward to that one. Who is that? I like, do we know? I I don't know who the the female is. No, I've uh, I, I've she's been in. This is her first starring role. Okay, okay. Um, and I like that. I like I like that the world. I mean, as far as I remember, nobody really knew who Sigourney Weaver was. Nobody. No, she was, when, that was her first starring role. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that. I mean, make this be somebody's launch breakout. Yeah. 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 I, I really like that. Yeah. So okay, she's in, and I haven't seen it yet because I still can't wait to get to, I'm getting to the movie, but I'm seeing Civil War. She's in Civil War. Okay. Uh, Callie oh, Spade. She's the young journalist. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I Did think you watch when Civil it comes, War? Yeah. Uh, I can't wait. When it comes to those movies like the Aliens and the and Predator and when the, the new one that came out a couple of years ago with Prey, the simpler the better. When you start going into origins and you start trying to I don't when you overcomplicate it with story instead of just I mean, and I'll tell you what that looks like to me is that they land on some lab in the sky and all hell breaks loose. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. So and I, I think as long as you keep it that simple. It's going to work. It's when you start creating the who created them and who created us and you start going into that shit, nobody cares. And then you, you have just, a suicidal mandroid. Who gives a shit? That's we not did, We didn't need it. We, yeah. didn't we this never this needed any of it. Yeah. 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 So. All right. So that is August 16th. Uh, then they, they, we get up to August 23rd. Couple different movies coming out. Uh, the one that I decided to pick uh, is one that I so want to do well, and I want to be excited about it, but I'm not yet. And it's the crow. oh yeah, it's the who, the crow, the, the, the crow. New oh, crow I agree with you. Uh, I, agree. I, I like all the people one. in it. I I like Bill Skarsgård. He's an amazing actor. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the fact that they make him look like Machine Gun Kelly, I just need to go. Well, because goth really isn't a thing right now. That, right. Like the general audience is going to be like, oh, I want to see somebody from Ramstein and like become the crow. And it's like, it's that that's not a thing right now. But yeah. this yeah. type of music is. So, yeah. um, but we'll see. We'll see. It, it, I know it's got uh, right now James Olbar's kind of seal of approval. So that to me says some something. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person? <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. Someone dies. A crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. And 
until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. you become you know that love promises only pain you have no idea what hell awaits you no i do how many people have you loved i'll never be alone Do, do I'm gonna guys, give it a shot. Yeah. Do is he does he regenerate like Wolverine type thing? Yeah, I pretty couldn't, much. I, I couldn't tell. It was kind of it was broken up, so I couldn't really mm -hmm. tell if his wounds were healing or not. But okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's it's this is a, a a reboot. That's Eric Draven and Shelley. Yep. It's not the four that came after mm -hmm. the original crow. Yeah, they're not oh. they're not touching those at all. This those is, don't exist. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm okay with. <laughs> so, yeah, those were horrible. Yeah, yeah and and therefore. originally they wanted what three or four films with with Brandon uh, Lee. with Brandon yeah. Lee, uh, but I don't know. And it, it's ignoring the TV series that they did with Mike, yeah. uh, Mark Dakaskis as well. Yeah, um, they did a TV that series a of that. Yeah, there was. Uh, yeah. yeah, and they yeah. and they really they played with the the mythology of it right. quite a bit. Um, that it, it didn't need to happen they were just capitalizing on the popularity of and and mark they got a guy who looked like brandon lee but that was yeah. pretty much all he had yeah oh mm, i wouldn't say that he, he was he, not in that show maybe, maybe no no not in that now. show but he i mean he is a world-class martial artist absolutely like, don't don't sell him short on that no um and i think he was he was trying to make it in a in a market he was trying. He was trying to be an '80s star in a '90s market, and but it, it just doesn't. Really he doesn't exist. have. The, he didn't have the charisma or charm as Brandon Lee. No, no, at all. Not, not at all. Um, but he, he did. He made some good, um, like Asian-based films. Crying Freeman is really good. Um, so his his American pieces have been kind of eight. Uh, but he was. Good. I liked him in uh, when he was in John Wick, two, three. Yeah, John Wick three. three. Those um, three. Yep, he was all right. Him in there. I think after well, watching Boy Kills World, I'm 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 good with this one too because I think Bill's Bill's pretty fun to watch. I'm yeah. I, that was another one I, I you gotta come I see, it, see. Yeah, like I'll go see it again. I think did I just lose my list? Oh shoot! Oh no! Um, there's one more movie coming out, and I did I was unable to grab a trailer for it because one does not exist yet, which I thought oh. was interesting for a uh, summer film that they there's nothing like you go to imdb right now and there's no plot like the the plot is under wraps is what it, it said what's the movie um, that's I, I gotta find the name of it again i go back to the website and scroll back down to august uh, it's called two. it's called they listen and there is like there's nothing out there for the film. The plot is, is under wraps. Is it, is it by Neon? Mm, <laughs> nope. It is horror. It is horror. Studio. Christopher Wentz is is the director. Um, like Neon. And it's got a couple people in it that you may have heard of. 
Oh, um, it's got David in it. Yeah. David but, Delft, that last name is crazy. Yeah. Delft Machina. John Cho is in it. Um, but for the most part, like, there's nothing nothing you can look at. And I was like, that's interesting. So, All Matt, right, what Matt, are your two? Yeah, Matt said he had, had two. two. So, um, August 9th, Trap, which is also M. Night Shyamalan. And that looks interesting. That does look interesting. I saw the trailer um, for that. That looks, I, that's. I actually have that trailer. Uh, yeah. I skipped. I skipped it because we were running a little short on time, but we can watch that one. Yeah, let's watch it. Well, here we go. Here, this is trap. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Hurry, come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait! I got time my shoe. No dad jokes. This is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, Lady Raven. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Jamie, what's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. Something happening? Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. Watching all the exits, checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. I'm sorry, Riley, what was that? Your daughter's never gonna forget this day. You're kinda of dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Hmm? Wow, that's interesting. That's that's a that's quite a like. I haven't seen Josh Hart is Hartman, right? I haven't seen him Hartnett. in for, Hartnett. I haven't seen him in Hartnett. forever, and now all of a sudden yeah. here, and you're like, wow. Okay, he's got a, it's quite, quite a role. Like it's mm -hmm. Quite a role. Yeah, for sure. I like that he's really taking good. some risks. Yeah, a little bit as far as his acting career goes, and like some of the most recent stuff he's done. Um, he had he had a almost like a sea level role in Oppenheimer, but, but mm. I think he killed it. So okay. I, I like him. I mean, obviously okay. the premise is, you know, inviting a, a bunch of like some sort of Taylor Swift, Beyonce style concert yeah. with a bunch of young, young people to trap a serial killer seems a little far fetched, but I'll play along. Yeah. Looks interesting. Right. And I, do they have like DNA or something? Is that how they know when, when the person leaves? Cause obviously they don't know what he looks like. Right. Right. So, Hmm. What um? What's the other one that were you said you had two? Uh, the other one was Blink Twice. Blink with uh, oh. Channing. Yep, that's that's the other one that I was like, oh, we'll, we'll do that one later. But I got it, so uh, I can do it. Might as well do it. Uh, yep. Blink Twice. Do that up. This this is another one that I think looks good. I uh, we had quite a few kind of stalkery horror films that are coming out this summer. So I was like, well, maybe we'll skip the two, but no, there's more. I mean, so John, just prepare <laughs> it's yourself. Neon, okay. so. 
Oh, is, 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 it, is it really I'm neon? Kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm don't. Kidding. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> so, everybody's dead. How about we start at the beginning? Okay, here we go. Jess, Frida, this is my childhood buddy. Cody? Tom. Vic, my left and right hand man. Perfect. Tom? Hi! <laughs> All right, who did this? This is Frida, Sarah, Sarah Frida. Keep down. Thank you. <laughs> this is our resident wonder boy, Heather, oh. Camilla. Ah! Later. 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 What's up, man? <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> We're going to my island for a few days. Do you guys want to come? This is crazy. Did we just jet off to a billionaire's island with a bunch of strangers? No, he's not a stranger. He's Slater King. Everybody say, making memories! Making memories! You having a good time? We're having a great time. We're drinking champagne, and we're eating amazing food. So do you think the human sacrifice is before or after dinner? <laughs> <laughs> the legendary parties of Slater King. Not what I thought it was gonna be. We still have fun. It's just a little different now. What do you mean? Bunk, please. Wait, for real? You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. I'm having a great time here. But I also have this feeling that I'm like... Not. Where's my knife? Who has my knife? Oh, dude, your eye. What? Oh, no, I know, right? There's something weird going on here. Everybody's smiling and laughing, like 1960 flight attendants. Like, are you having a good time? I'm like, yeah, I'm having a great time. Can't you feel me? <laughs> There's something wrong with this place. Where's Jess? Who's Jess? My friend, that was in the room next to mine. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I feel like we're forgetting like a lot of stuff. Okay, but like, how? Something's making us forget. Uh oh. I mean, you know what's really going on. Twice if I'm in danger. Well, maybe not. Let's not <laughs> answer that one, right? Hmm. Okay. All right. Looks like a very yeah. murderous glass on you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the summer looks um scary and. Uh, <laughs> You and know. Johnny won't be leaving the house. No, no. Stay in that room. <laughs> Stay in that room. I'll just order in. You know. So I just I, I don't remember the summer being very uh scary movies. I just don't remember that. I remember like blockbusters like usually Transformers mm -hmm. or the latest mm -hmm. Michael Bay film and Independence Day. Yeah, like I just remember that. And so it's just it's changing. I I think I mean, and even looking at uh, later in the year when you're talking about like Transformers, it's like that those are coming. Um, they're just like, like saving like it. They're for... not. Com yeah, they're the not compacting the summer as as much the as they strike. used to. Be. The strike is really what we're yeah. feeling. That was a fact. So, oh, so. that uh, that's right. Threw everything off and everything yeah, it's, back. It's still coming. Like yeah. there is a new Transformers movie coming, but it's outside of the time frame that we're covering today. Well, don't really want that. that. I don't really want that. But no. I, that was an example. Yeah. <laughs> like I really don't want the Transformers. But is is so is stuff coming like um, holiday the holiday? Yeah. Well, movie? it's it's a weird continuous flow. For oh, the rest of the year. okay. Okay. Minus September. September is not much. Yeah. That's true. No. Okay. So that then we're gonna have to have you guys back on for October to go into the what's coming or no in November for the November for the summer or not the summer the we'll, winter we'll a, holiday we'll movie Q three Q four yeah, yeah fourth quarter yeah. there you go yeah, yeah that's nice yeah this has always been fun guys I love doing this stuff with you so um greg moving forward no more neon i don't need to i make no promises <laughs> <laughs> yeah i Fine, wouldn't we'll either just bring, go back to new line go bring new line back yeah yeah <laughs>
God, that just got weird on me. I'm still oh. thinking of that weird <laughs> shit. The only thing I was missing was like a chalkboard. That's oh, all. That, that, that was missing. That was it. Finger fingernails popping back. Yeah, yeah something. Oh. Yeah. Well, thanks so. everybody for hanging out for absolutely almost two hours of, yeah. of movie trailers and, and whatnot. I mean, we have a great so time fast. with it. Uh, yeah. Thank you for everybody that's been active in the chat. Uh, it's been great. And uh, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. Uh, I'll do my normal part. Yeah. Of, do your thing, uh, Greg. Yeah. Yep. Here we are in this movie season. Summer is coming. And just remember, don't be a douche. There you go. Four dog ten. God, I can't think of names right now. That I, I got Matt, that. I got Johnny that and Greg. Shit in my head. Yeah. Johnny and the for Ken, Matt, Johnny and the Greg. Take care. Podcast yeah. out, everyone. Have a good one.